Hey guys, here is another question. For real numbers alpha, beta, gamma and delta, if integral of x square minus 1 plus tan inverse of x square plus 1 by x upon x raised to 4 plus 3x square plus 1 into tan inverse of x square plus 1 by x dx where c is an arbitrary constant then the value of 10 times alpha plus beta gamma plus delta is. So this integral is equal to this equation over here and alpha beta gamma delta are given over here and we need to find this answer. So let us look. We have this integral over here. What we will do is we will separate these denominators. If we separate this denominator for the first term, we get tan inverse of x square plus 1 cancelled out and this is the term that is remaining. And this term, as you can see, tan inverse of x square plus 1 by x gets cancelled. So 1 by x raised to 4 plus 3 x square plus 1 is the only term remaining. What we will do is we will take x power 4 common from here take x we will divide x throughout over here the so becomes x plus 1 by x x power 4 is taken common and this is the term that we get x square is taken common so 1 minus 1 by x square is the term that we get and this let's say this is i1 this is i2 once we have these integrals what we do is we take tan inverse of x plus 1 by x to be equal to t. So i1 is definitely reduced to integral of dt by t. Correct? Because dt it becomes tan inverse in integral, a tan inverse differentiation which is given in the i1 over here. So i1 becomes ln of t and ln of t is ln of tan inverse of x plus 1 by x, the whole mod. Now, we have the second integral that is this. What we will do is we will add and subtract this term. That is x square plus 1 minus x square minus 1. If we subtract this, we have 2 in the numerator and 1 by 2 is divided over here. So the integral is retained as it is. What we will do again is separate the denominator between these two numerators and get these relations in both of them. And if you look over here, we have this case over here and this case over here. So what we will do is, we will write x minus 1 by x as u for here and x plus 1 by x as v for here. And once we have that, we will simplify again and solve these two integrals as this and find i2 to be equal to 1 by 2, 2 root 5 tan inverse of x minus 1 by x by root 5 minus 1 by 2 tan inverse of x plus 1 by x. Now we know that i, that is the overall integral, is i1 plus i2. So if we add these two, uh, these three terms, we get the value of alpha, beta, gamma, and delta to be 1, 1 by root 2, 2 root 5, 1 by root 5, and minus 1 by 2. Now if we put all these values in this question over here, or this equation, we get the value of 10 times alpha plus beta, gamma plus delta to be equal to 1 plus 5 to be equal to 6. Thank you.